Okay, we are <clears throat> once again working with the waxing crescent moon energy. So we're taking the intentions that we decided upon, or a new one, completely up to you, um, and feeding energy into it to help it manifest. So let's find our mountain pose here with the feet hip width distance apart, the feet nice and grounded, the toes spread out. So easiest thing to do is lift them, spread them out, and bring them down. So a nice big feet here, hips over ankles, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders, palms forward, and breath. Just feel the breath moving in and out. Now let's go ahead and bring hands to heart and just breathe into your intention. Smooth out your breath and your gaze toward your fingers. See your intention written or maybe pictures work better for you. Raise the right corner of your mouth. Raise the left corner of your mouth. Smile, asana. Exhale. And on your next inhale, draw your fingers up toward the sky. Inhale. Turn your palms out. Exhale. Inhale, big circle breath up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, arms down by your side. And two more breaths like that. Inhale. So that was one round and one more round. And drawing your hands back to your heart. And just breathe and then release everything. Shake it out. Bring movement to the body here. Okay, so we're going to let the knees and hips be soft. Take it down and up. So important to warm up. Make sure the body is ready for what we're going to do. And then come back, and we'll start our spinal series here. So we're going to take the feet slightly wider than hip width distance apart. Take your right hand to your left shoulder, left hand to your right. We're moving into cats and cows here. So the knees and hips will be soft as you round forward into cat. And then open up big into your cow. Take your left hand to your right shoulder, right hand to left cat. Open cow, right hand goes first, cat, cow, left hand first, cat, cow, and keep working through this. The next time you find yourself in cat with your left hand going to your right shoulder first, just hold there and then roll up and release. Shake it out a little bit. Okay. All right. So we're going to now connect heaven and earth with our breath. So you probably, I think Matt with distance apart with the toes turned out should be enough here. Okay, the feet are grounded, and you know the knees are going to bend slightly, bend and straighten as we do this. Rub your palms together, get some heat going. 
Now a little bend in the knees and we reach up with the right palm and down with the left. Inhale, center, exhale, up with the left palm, down with the right. Come center, reach up toward heaven and down toward the earth. Center and reach heaven and earth uh, down and upright and down and up left and bring it in up to the right and in and up left and in now we're going to take it up and hold so we've got the right palm facing the sky the left palm facing the earth take your gaze toward your right fingertips start to feel that energy floating in through the right palm and out the left and now turn your gaze to the left Turn your gaze back to the right, come center, reach up, left palm up, right palm down. Feel that energy coming in through your left palm. Turn to the right and witness the energy flowing out through your right palm to the earth. And come back to center. And one more time like that, upright. Feel that energy. Turn your gaze to the left. Come center and up left. Energy out through the right and center. Now we're going to do something fun here. So take your knees out, right? Inhale up, woo, step together. Yes, yes. All right, good. So one of the things that, um, one of the poses that we do is in this phase would be the mountain pose but we're going to and normally we do our mountain pose like this but we're going to do our mountain pose tadasana so let's go ahead bend your knees a little bit and as you straighten everything up bring your arms up reach toward the sky tada feel yourself grounding and lifting at the same time and let's do that again. Bring the arms down, knees bend slightly. Bring it up, Tadasana. Reach, reach through the side body and release. All right, shake it out. Okay, so now we'll work on our rotational movements. Okay, and we're going to take the feet about mat width distance apart. The lower body can move with us if if it wants to, we're going to start tapping, right? Tap around the body. And back here is our door of life. So we're knocking on the door of life as we twist side to side. Now start to let the hands come up and gentle fist right under the shoulder blade. It's a nice little immunity tapping point here. Tap into that. Can't hurt and then arms out and twist way up to the sky and start taking it back down to your immunity tapping just a little tap right under the shoulder now the next time your left hand is under your right collarbone just feel around in there press into it See if you find any sore spots, massage it a little bit. And then switch sides. There's, you'll find right under the collarbone and close to the shoulder, there's a little hollow there. That's the spot we're aiming for. And now let's come back to knocking on the door of life. Tapping around the body, waking things up. Ooh, and come back to center. And let's just try stepping together. Boom. There you go. Inhale and exhale. So we're going to do a standing camel. The feet are hip width distance apart. Okay. Hip width, toes are facing forward. And we've just opened up the spine. So let's see how this goes. Put your hands right above your glutes here with your fingertips down. Take your uh, elbows toward each other and shine your heart up. Without throwing the head back, we're shining the heart up. 
and release. Okay, now we're going to come into a similar position from a forward fold. So sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and hips a bit. Clasp your hands in front of you as you forward fold. We're in this um, mudra here where the index fingers are pointing, uh, are extended, and the rest of the hand is clasped. Exhale. Now, as you inhale, draw your arms forward and up. And when you get up, take a nice little back bend here. Open the heart and release center arms down and shake it out all right just something a little different there did that feel okay for your backs everybody okay with that one all right so let's shake it out the back bending right which is one of our poses of the month is really good because we spend so much of our day in a forward position so by back bending we can help alleviate uh, counter pose some of that forwardness. All right. Well, we're a very small group tonight, and I would take a vote on um, core, and the only ex not acceptable vote is none. I see you. Okay. <laughs> but I think we'll just go ahead. <laughs> All right. And we will just have a real fun core session. So come to the top of your mat. Find mountain pose. And I know how strong everybody is, so by fun, I don't mean easy. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Take a half lift. Bring your fingertips down and step back to down dog. And then we're going to walk these dogs. Press one heel down and hold. Yes, press the other heel down and hold. Press both heels down and hold. And then go ahead and bring your knees down and sit off to the side. Let's find seated mountain pose. So we know when we're seated, our, we're balanced on the sit bones. The spine is long. And let's do a nice feather breath to extend the spine nice and long. So bring your hands to your heart. Imagine there's a feather on top, top of your skull. Exhale. Inhale, bring your fingertips up. That feather is staying right where it is. Turn your palms out and as you exhale, press the crown of your head into that feather. The spine gets longer and longer. Fingertips touch down. Bring your hands back to your heart. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale, fingertips up toward the sky. That feather is still there. Turn your palms out. Exhale, press into that feather. Fingertips down by your side. Hands to heart. And release. Shake everything out. All right, so what we're going to do for core is also a little bit of a spinal massage too, okay? So what we're, we'll be doing, rock, 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 hold, okay? We've all done this before. So lay back on your mat, draw your legs in, and cross your right ankle over your left. Hold on to your hamstrings, okay? Now we start massaging the spine, rock, rock rock now we engage the core sit up keep the feet up hold let go of your legs when you feel steady yeah and if your feet came down that's fine too we're just going to work it again take it back now cross the left ankle rock 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 up and hold that core has to kick in right away all right, that's our move. Take it down. Now we're going to have an option to add, which will be the bicycle. Right ankle over left. Hold on. Rock, rock, rock up and stay here or uncross your legs. And whew, whew, this is a wild bicycle. Bicycle, take it back. Left ankle over right. Rock, rock, 
rock up, hold, or uncross, and bicycle. And bring it down right over left, rock, 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 uncross, option, bicycle. Left over right, rock, 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 take it up, uncross, option, bicycle. Ooh, take it down and breathe it in. Inhale and exhale, bring your feet down and just butterfly your legs. Whew. All right, anybody feel that? Give me a leg if you felt it good or an arm is good too. All right. I know it, it was a slow start and you were starting to think, wait a minute, this isn't tough. I, know, I saw you. Okay, we're going to take it now to the obliques. All right, so let's start just with the legs together. We're not going to cross them here. Hold on to your hamstrings. Rock, here's that nice spinal massage. Rock, rock, up and hold, hands together, knees left, palms right. Knees right, palms left, center and down. Rock, rock, rock. Take it up, palms together. Knees right, palms left. Knees left, palms right, center and down. All right, now you'd think we could add a bicycle, right? So let's do it. Rock, remember it's optional, rock. Rock, take it up. Hands right, knees left, bicycle. Bicycle through center, over, knees right, hands left, center and down and rock, 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 take it up, knees right, hands left, bicycle, bicycle through center, remember you do you, take it over, knees left, palms right, center down and whew, inhale and exhale, bring your feet down, open and close. Inhale. So that was kind of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Now we have a nice fire burning in the belly. Let's go ahead and get those hips a little bit. So everybody has, does everybody have a strap? Give me a leg or a hand. Yeah. Okay. Grab your strap or it could be a bathrobe tie or a belt or. Uh, okay. So we'll play with the hips a little bit here. So take your strap, your left foot's on the mat with your left knee bent, your right knee comes in, put the strap around the ball of your right foot and hold on loosely to the strap as you extend your right leg kind of at a 45 degree angle and draw it in, extend and draw it in extend and draw it in now extend it at the 45 degree angle flex your foot and without tugging on the strap encourage your right leg up vertical draw your hands up the strap as far as they go your right foot is flexed inhale exhale the toes back so we're getting a nice stretch in the hamstring here the back of the leg And then release that right leg is vertical again. And support your leg with the strap as it slowly comes down. We're just supporting it. We're not, uh, you know, the strap isn't doing the work. It's just helping. And then bring it back up. Take your hands up the strap. Right foot is flexed. And let that leg come back. Now you could stay right here or if you feel like it, you can raise your shoulders and head, walk your hands up your strap, and see if you can touch your foot or not. And slowly roll down. Bend your knee and bring your left leg in. Put the strap around your left foot and extend the knee and bend it in. Extend and bend. Extend and bend the strap is around the ball of your foot <laughs> mine kind of fell so i'm going to put it back 
Now extend and take that left leg up. The right foot's on the mat, right? Flex your right foot and just encourage those toes back, the left toes. Okay, let the strap support your leg as you slowly come down. And slowly come back up with the left foot flex, the hands as high up on the strap as they'll go right now. Encourage the left toes back a little more. And as an option, roll your shoulders and head up. You might walk the hands up the strap and see if you can touch your foot or some other part of your leg that may not have been accessible to you earlier. Roll it down and bend your knee, remove the strap, put it off to the side, and then stretch both legs long. Inhale. Exhale, draw your knees in and rock side to side. And release two feet to the mat, butterfly. So when we do sunbird, we will be doing, because we draw the leg up, we'll be opening up the front hip flexors. So we just did other parts of the hip now. So now it's time for sunbird. Come to hands and knees. Make sure that you have enough padding for your knees to be happy in sunbird. Remember sunbird, if you don't like being on hands and knees, you could put your hands on a chair. You could have your hands on the wall. You can do all the things you can just stay in the traditional sunbird. So here we go, hands and knees. Right leg is back, point the toe, right leg comes up, heart shines forward. Can you feel that stretch in the front hip flexor a bit here? This is sunbird, this is our move. Bring the right knee down, spine to neutral. Okay, now we're gonna take the left leg up, point the toe, lift. So we're trying to stay square here not tilt over to the right, which I just noticed myself doing. That's why I'm telling you. Shine your heart forward, sunbird, and release. All right, wiggle around. That's the sunbird. You can continue doing that. You can add on. Right leg back, heart shines forward, sunbird. Bend the elbows. Take your forehead to the earth. Dancing sunbird, come up. Right knee down. Yep. Try it on the left. Left leg points, left leg up, heart shines up. Option, dancing sunbird, bend the elbows, forehead to the earth, come up, knee down. All right, let's get off those wrists for a moment, sit back. If you're in this um, pose here with your uh, hips on your heels, the heels might be far away. Come up to your toes and sit on your heels this way, just to give the feet a little bit of a reverse. Um, okay, so in one version, we have the um, toes pointed, and in another version, we're up on the toes. So we're just giving the feet a nice little uh, massage here. All right. We're continuing with sunbird. Come on back, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Okay, we're going to be lifting to down dog this time. Remember, it's an option. Right leg up, sunbird, stay here or dance your sunbird down. Stay here or bring your right toes down, left leg high for three-legged dog. Left knee down, right knee down. All right, we're going sunbird, left leg up, shine your heart forward, stay here or dance it down. Stay here or left toes down, right leg up. Right knee down, left knee down, and shake it out. All right, so there is a further version of that that I don't typically show very often, but since it's just us, I'm going to show you guys tonight okay i don't expect everyone to do it but somebody might want to try it it's the ninja lift to the warrior or to the uh, downward facing dog 
All right. Is everybody doing down dog? Coming into down dog? Yeah? Okay. All right. Let me just show you really quickly. We've been doing sunbird dance down dog like this. Okay. The other version is sunbird dance down dog like this. Did you see what I did? I lifted. Okay. That is totally an option. I'm not recommending it for everybody, but if you want to try it, that's a way to try it. Okay. You might remember that from cl other classes, right? Diane, you do. All right. Everybody got, a, got something they're going to do here? Remember, you could always just do sunbird and stay there. All right, here we go. Sunbird, option, dance it down. Option, bring your right toes down, lift to down dog, or right leg up, left knee lifts, down dog, knees down. Sunbird, left leg, option, dance it down. Option, take your left toes down, lift your right leg, or right knee up, left leg up, knees down, shake it out. Oh, let's sit down for a moment and shake everything out. Get off those wrists. So keep that in mind when you're seeing different variations of stuff. Everything isn't for everybody. Some things may be for somebody. And some things may be for nobody. Okay? Shake it out. And if you're ever in the middle of a class and you say, I remember when I did it this way, feel free to do it that way. Okay? All right. Yoga always wants to meet us where we are and take us to where we want to go. Let's go ahead and find child's pose. All right, hopefully child's pose was an opportunity to get your breath back under you. Now slowly and mindfully come into downward facing dog. And take any journey that you like that gets your feet to your hands. You've been working hard, so take it easy with yourself here if you want. Hands to the thighs, take a half lift, shine your heart forward. Roll your hands down your legs, fold. Float the arms out and up. Remember Tadasana, let's go. Ta, reach, 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 ground through the feet, reach up through the fingers, touch your palms and bring your hands to your heart and shake it out let's breathe okay all right you've been working super hard so far so we're going to take a couple of breaths here and move into a, just a very mindful um tree balance here so find your feet hip width distance apart okay we were thinking we're thinking about rooting and growing and hands to hips find your drishti right heel up right knee out the hips are still facing forward okay heel to your left leg and if it's time for you to bring your foot to your calf do that keep your gaze steady keep your mind calm keep your left foot nice and big and tree and release all right let's try that on the other side find your drishti spot that isn't moving left heel up left knee out 
maybe you find your calf some people find higher already that's fine too if you're if you want and release shake it out okay so we're going to yeah we're going to revisit tree later on in our practice but i just wanted to do that as kind of a settling and calming thing before we move into our sun salutations all right so let's go ahead with sun salutations and it's a good opportunity to do a very kind of meditative mindful sun salutation so feel free to keep your knees down uh, as often as you want, okay, uh, when we're going into Chaturanga, um, the plank, you decide knees up, knees down. So we're just going to go through the regular sun salutation sequence. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Oh. Take a half lift. Bring your fingertips down. We're going to step back with the right leg and just enjoy being in a little lunge here. And now find a nice plank. Knees up or down. The spine is long. And chaturanga. Come into a nice little cobra here. Shine your heart forward. Take it down and float up into down dog. So that might look like table to dog. For you, it might look like press up and back. Let's, find, let's take five breaths in down dog. So find your dog. And now adjust anything that would make it feel better, lighter, more stable, more even. And now take three nice breaths into that space. Take your right leg up. Take whatever step is available to you and then find the rest of the way to the top of your mat. Half lift. Forward fold. Float your arms out and up. Touch your palms together and do that back bend looking up that we did earlier. Come up and release. All right. Ready for the other side? Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Half lift. Fingertips down. Lunge back left. Plank, Chaturanga. Let's play with the cobras for a moment. Okay, so we'll do our basic cobra hands under the shoulders, shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. Lift the heart, lift the hands, and release. Now slide your hands six inches lower, shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. Lift up, use your hands to help you lift a little higher. and release and this time if you have up dog come into up dog if not just keep your hands where they were six inches below your shoulders and lift into a little higher cobra if you have up dog your arms are going to straighten your knees will come up and everybody come into downward facing dog first breath we get into dog Second breath, we look around and see what would make it feel better. What adjustments should we be making right now? And then the next three breaths, we just relax into our downward facing dog. Left leg up, step forward, complete your journey, feet to hands. Half lift, 
forward fold load up tadasana arms reach up feet reach down touch your palms exhale hands to heart Ooh, and shake it out how are you guys doing Try, trying to give you a break but we keep going pretty strong don't we all right so let's take a nice little um break with some brush hands you may want to turn on your mat because we do have the feet wider than mat with distance the toes turned out remember this is just a little respite here so keep that in mind as you gently bring your arms up and exhale brush arm brush hands down the wall a little moment here to catch the breath And the next time you're up, stay here. Turn your right toes to the right, left toes in at an angle, brush hands to the right. Next time you come up to center, toes out again, four brush hands. Center. Arms up, left toes to the left, right toes at an angle, brushing hands over the left leg. And coming center, just four brush hands. And then step together and breathe. All right, there is one more thing that I want to do standing, and that involves couple of things that we've already done it's the arm crossing and the tree so we're also going to introduce um, the warrior uh, one legs okay so go ahead and come to the top of your mat if you prefer to just look forward do that okay so we're going to take a big step back with the right foot I guess I'll have to do it this way if I'm going to face you Big step back with the right foot. So this is our warrior one legs. We're bending the right, uh, the left knee over the left ankle. The right leg is behind and the body is forward. Okay. So now we're going to take the right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right. Exhale here and then inhale, open up. Exhale, try, we're, we don't really care which arm is forward or back because we've got bigger fish to fry in here. We're just opening and coming back. Okay, hugging in and coming back. And bend and straighten that front knee a bit. All right, so here it is. Now, here we are forward, right? We open back. Now, the next time you cross your arms, you're going to bring your back leg in for tree. Yeah. And step back open and come forward. This leg, I guess this is your left leg, back. Okay, we've got our warrior one legs going on here. Left, uh, right knee over right ankle, left foot at an angle. Heart is forward and we cross and open cross and open cross and open and we're getting ready cross and open now as you cross back bring your left leg in 
and release. Okay, shake it out. We're going to try that one more time on each side with fewer cross. You're right. I, I forgot to step back to warrior one legs. All right. So we're going to try that one more time on each side. <clears throat> right leg back. Left knee is bent. We cross and open. Cross and open. Cross and open this time tree Ooh, right leg comes in and step back and forward all right last side here we go step back left right knee is bent cross and open cross and open cross and open here we go cross tree Step back and forward. Ooh, shake it out. All right. Oh, look, just a little fun there. Okay, so let's go ahead now and we're going to start our descent back down to the earth. So go ahead and check your body, scan from head to toe, see what needs to happen for you, what kind of movements you feel like making here. Ooh, yeah. Slowly, slowly starting to work your way back to standing if you're in some kind of a fold. Look around your space. See if you want to bring anything with you as we come down to the, um, down to the earth here. Okay. So if your space is cold like mine has, you might want to cover up with something, socks or a blanket. You might have an eye pillow, whatever you like. Okay. And then come to the top of your mat. We're going to take several breaths here, just noticing how energy is moving through the body. Notice how your feet are. Do they feel grounded? What's the crown of your head doing? Is it lifting up or is it pressing down? All right, inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Take a half lift, fingertips down, and either start a vinyasa or come into down dog. Now in this down dog, once you get here, go ahead and scan. See if there's any spots that feel heavy or concentrated and even things out. And once you're feeling really nice and smooth and even in your down dog, take three breaths. And then we're going to bend the knees to one side and hips to the other. Come center, knees down, and find our seated mountain pose. Ooh, let's shake those arms out, move the shoulders around. Shoulders got a good workout today. Does anybody else feel them? Yeah. All right. So, um, Continue, continuing with our roll-ups and a little bit of spinal massage, this time we're going to roll up into an easy forward fold. All right, so let's go ahead and bend the knees, roll down. Okay, so this time our goal is not to engage the core, but to release the body forward. Draw your knees in, hold on to your hamstrings, and we're going to rock. And now rock up, extend the legs, and just melt over your legs. This is a purification form of forward folding. Bring it in, 
knees in and rock. And come up and fold. And one more time, knees in and rock. And come up and fold. All right, now we're going to roll ourselves back down to the earth and just take a few breaths here. Notice when you're laying down, if your chin is jutting up and you have this big arch in the back of your neck, try and straighten that out a bit. Okay, we don't want to be like way up here. And if that is happening to you, you could always opt to put a little something, a folded up small towel or a blanket, a little pillow under your head. Okay, so we're not trying to tuck the chin necessarily, but sometimes we create this big arch in the back of our neck. So let's take a moment to think about that right now. All right, pigeon, take your right ankle over your left thigh. Flex your right foot, draw your legs in towards you. We'll be holding this pigeon, hands around your left hamstring, or some people like to hold their shin here. Okay, the right foot is flexed and the left knee is in line with the left shoulder. Mm, breathe into that right hip. Send it everything it needs to release. Warmth, breath, focus. All right, we're going to release, unwind two feet to the mat, butterfly the knees, left ankle across the right thigh, left foot is flexed, both legs in. You might hold the hamstring or even the side of the leg. You might hold the shin. We want the right knee in line with the right shoulder so we can get release in that left. Send your breath, warm, healing breath to that hip. And release, unwind, two feet to the mat. Gentle open and close of the knees here. All right, let's take the feet mat width distance apart for windshield wipers. Arms out from the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, both knees to the right, gaze left. And come through center and switch. All right, so notice what's happening in your body as you move side to side. And I think one of the overlooked aspects of this is the front hip flexor stretch. So notice what happens in your left front hip flexor when your knees are over to the right and your right front hip flexor when your knees are over to the left. Head is going the opposite direction of the knees. Now hold both knees over to the right. You can stay right here looking, gazing toward the left. You can also take your bottom leg, which would be your right leg, and put your right foot on your left outer thigh to get more of a twist, more of a stretch if you do that. 
and it doesn't feel good to you, then back off. Unwind and over to the other side, gazing toward your right fingertips, and stay right here, or take your left leg on top of your right outer thigh. If that works for you, great. If it doesn't, that's great too. And then unwind two feet to the mat. Come back to center. Inhale and exhale here. All right. Bring your hands back down by your side. Walk your feet closer together. Sit on your hands with your palms face down. Draw your knees up. You can stay here. We're going to be doing ankle work. You could stay here, or if it works for you, take your legs up. Make sure there's some space in between your legs. Point and flex the foot, feet, both feet. And circle the ankles one direction and the other. And bring the feet back down, hands out from under you, spread the fingers wide, make a gentle fist, wiggle them, spread wide, wiggle, rotate your wrists, rotate the other way, bring your hands down, and now scan your body once again from head to toe, See what needs to happen for you so you can be comfortable in final relaxation. If you're choosing to cover up or put on additional clothing, get that ready. Find where your final relaxation for this practice is. You guys worked hard. We'll spend a little extra time here today. So find nice, comfortable, final relaxation. Inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, allow your body to just melt onto the earth. Stop doing and just be. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Allow your breath to deepen. Bring movement back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. 
And on your next inhale, stretch long. Exhale, draw your knees in, give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side. And as you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice. And we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.